Hey guys, it's Karina Beckby, your Latina Preneur, coming to you from my home, and I am doing a really quick Skype video for you guys using a Mac. Now, I haven't used a Mac before, so I just downloaded it onto this Mac, and as you see, all my contacts are still intact from when I was using my Dell. Um, it shows me who's online, who's not online, who's offline. Um, their pictures nothing has changed you guys the layout may be a little bit different but all the information is still here so no need to worry about anything okay uh, quick features here's your dial pad if you want to call somebody it's right here if you want to add a new contact you do it through here very simple you guys nothing to it okay if you want to start a new conversation with somebody Go ahead, you know. Um, oh, here's another cool thing. Let me see. Let me do this with Erwin. Um, you can add them on favorites. See this? You see this little star here? Add them on favorites. So now you have a different, you have a subcategory, so to speak, and you just add people to your favorite list, okay? Uh, let's continue. Skype preferences. And this is really where most people have uh, difficulty when starting on Skype. First thing I would like you to do is just really go to your Skype, do the preferences and set up your general information. Here, go ahead and select or deselect what you want. Privacy, I set mine, you know, to my contacts basically, and I like to keep my conversation history forever because there are sometimes when I I miss something or there's so many people on a chat room and the information is just going, 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 going. And it's like, oh my gosh, what did they say? So I, I like to go back to the chats and find certain things, okay? Uh, let's see. And that's my personal preference. It's really up to how you want to set yours up. Calls, I have I have it done to set so that nothing is done. When calls are coming in, I will decide whether to answer the phone or not. You can set it up for a voicemail if you like. And if you do, you know, hey, that's all you got to do. Set up voicemail and get, get it going. So, um let me get that off done but I don't want to do that right now anyway it's messaging you know this is my Skype name now you guys there isn't a Skype number there is not a Skype number this is your username when somebody is looking for you you tell them your Skype name is whatever username you have mine is sent to Karina dot Becky okay there is no Skype number Notifications, well, here's where you set up your notifications. Do you want them at the top? Do you want them at the bottom left? It's really up to you. This is your Skype. This is your uh, real estate right here to do some you know, basic uh, chatting and communicating with other people. Wonderful, it's yours to use. Audio and video, right now you guys, I'm using my headset, hey. And you know, it's, it's again, it's up to you how you wanna set it up. So, let's go in and I'll change that over again and there you go and then advanced settings it's really here so check it out you guys um, there's nothing here that you can really break uh, play with all all that you have here um, and again you know this is if you want to know about Skype this is the Skype I'm using 5.3 if there is something that I missed here go ahead and um, Give, send me a message or comment down below and I will be more than happy to try to find the answer for you if I can. Um, if not, I will definitely research it and look for it. The only thing I have found is that sometimes people have a problem with listening through the Skype. Like they would be able to hear me but I can't hear them or vice versa. Um, I'm still trying to figure that one out because if both systems are set to are set correctly with their mics, there shouldn't be a problem. So, um, with that being said, have an awesome day, and I will talk to you guys soon. So don't forget, uh, send this out, comments, and let me know what you think. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.